Watched the flag pass by one day. It fluttered in the breeze. A young soldier saluted it, and then he stood at ease. I looked at him in uniform, so young, so tall, so proud. With hair cut square and eyes alert, he'd stand out in any crowd. I thought, how many men like him had fallen through the years? How many died on foreign soil? How many mothers' tears? How many pilots' planes shot down? How many foxholes were soldiers' graves? No, freedom isn't free. I heard the sound of taps one night when everything was still. I listened to the bugler play and felt a sudden chill. I wondered just how many times that taps had meant amen when a flag had draped a coffin of a brother or a friend. That there's so many faces in the crowd that I know from having spent the last seven years walking around and working in the district of people that I didn't know that you had served our country. And for all the times I never said this, and I speak for everyone up here, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you very really much. one of the truly special things that I get to do in my job, and that's to help honor those veterans who have blazed the path for all of us who have followed. Without a doubt, all the wonderful opportunities I've had, both in my civilian and military careers, are a direct result of the sacrifices of all the generations that have gone before. It has a very rich history of honoring its returning veterans that dates back to the Civil War. The state struck its first medal honoring veterans following the Civil War. That tradition of presenting medals of thanks and recognition continued for Connecticut citizens who served in the Spanish-American War and World War I, but unfortunately it fell off at that time. The medal that you will receive today restores that important tradition for all veterans from World War II to the present. And unlike any other medal that we might wear on our uniforms, it binds all Connecticut veterans as one in a special honor and tribute to each other and to each generation. On behalf of a grateful nation and state, thank you for your wartime service. Benjamin Barksdale. Thank you for your service. On behalf of a grateful nation and state, thank you for your wartime service. Thanks for your service. On behalf of a grateful nation and state.